Tonight on RGB, we look back on the highs, lows, upsets, and glorious moments that made up 2019. To the final episode of Africa's Gossip Leader for 2019, the real Kaposa is in the house, darling. And in Jengoba, it's a special occasion. Namhlanje will be looking back at some of the stories that brought shade and flames to the famous and the fabulous. I am somebody who looks suspiciously like Sanazo Yolwa. And helping me sift through the stones for the golden nuggets, Abuti Wadi Swag, mm. Samora Mangese. No swag. Jep, jep. Nango tata. Cool. Good evening to Huni Nongab Makaya and a very big thank you to you for joining us for what is to be the party build up to 2020. With the new year only three days away, let's look back here. See, to reflect and go, what the heck, at some of the biggest stories of 2019. So, Carolina, now we're not big, now we're not Roy. You better call your friends, your mama, and your tribal grandmama who went to church with the Bible. Back to Lindobana. <laughs> now, a job this size is always easier. Class Hamba Nabanye Abantu. Tonight's panel has some funny, some theory, some fabulosity, just like the stories coming up. In Zalakibe to now, RGP Wamkela onto its 2019 panel. Hot Chick of the Year winner, Crazy K. Hey. Comedian Tadusom Thongo. Yes, sir. Our very own Rox Robinson. And Zkipa Ama What with Mario from Zkipani. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Hey, well, thank you. you. <laughs> All right, Maskaola Sihuka Gabetuna, we start our stroll down memory lane with our old faithful, Mazintiki Mazwai. Uh, she had more beef with Celebvo than Mtunduaga Kosa and has shaded many stars and also the Springboks when they won the World Cup. So, Sitale Pikebe Tuna, Maskaola Vago I don't know what's happening with this lady, man. It's tough to be angry at people after they won a World Cup. You know what I'm saying? She managed for your entire country, for the whole country, and she then you still the like you guys. Hater. Yo, <laughs> I just feel like Nsiki's whoever hurt Nsiki, that poor guy, whoever he is, just needs to own up because he's the reason why we're stuck with all this mess. But whoever you, who you are, like, I sana urongo. Like, do you what? understand? Why should not it's too late. That's so we must a deal. Rox, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> Just fix whatever's going, because clearly there's no one around you. Okay, sir, or something. <laughs> wow. She's got an issue. Maybe Una Matri was at Asunabant also. We don't know. Melissim Shaila and Ninja. It's amazing. Okay, must come back in Bandu. Two words, Lady Zama. Utu Sisigas, she stands by the comments that she made on Twitter about suffering abuse at the hands of an ex. Oh. The comments, Gare, that may soon have her facing music in court, if anything, Java said, is to be is to be believed. If fans that Tata eat dots is a connector that decide by no man, who's Java law? She dropped another bombshell when she said that she had no idea that her then partner was married. I don't I don't want to take anything away from Us Java, but looking at this Java, you, he looks like someone that's married, I would say. <laughs> like he looks like a married person. And they hid their relationship for a long time. Like that that should also like add into that like why wouldn't he want us to go public as a couple? Because for a long time we were suspecting was okay maybe there's something you could have just went forward and like no we are dating now so that should have like added suspicion. There's a reason why you are hidden. Mm. No man, I think to keep you safe. Was... You saw Stavros come up, okay? It wasn't like the typical come up. Yeah. Like, yeah. One day he's singing a normal song, the next he's on colors. Now one thing leads to the next. It was quick, quick. There's no time to tell the wife that, hey, I'm a superstar now, let's go pub. No, it's just like, you in KZN, bruh, chill. I'll do my so one you're saying... show and we'll do a big reveal. So well, you're no, saying... but I'm, I'm not talking about the wife though. I'm talking about like your partner that everybody has been speculating about that you have kept in the shadows because you don't want the ones to find out via SAPC1 that actually you are seeing someone in Jobek, but you're actually married in deep case at Yes, but how many drives, how many hours is that away? And it's not like Java was lying. He's been very honest. Umfazi, Ushelwanga Mang. 
Yo. Wow. He's quoting Kalana. him directly. <laughs> mm, mm. Colorism became a new word for the social verse this year. Go gia kuza upo nimbuli no pel to si bakabani do shushu about the privileges of light skinned actors versus dark skinned actors. Shoo! Yeah. I feel like Pearl sort of put herself into Bonnie's comment. In the beginning, the initial conversation was purely about um, colorism. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what Bonnie was saying, that mm -hmm. we're living in an industry or the industry is built in a way that just because you look the part, you can get the role. Pearl then made it personal and attacked Bonnie on the issues she suffered in, in Los Angeles. And when mm -hmm. you read that book, Bonnie goes into detail about how hard it was for both her and her ex-husband mm. in, in, in Los Angeles. And I just found that to be a bit unnecessary. Like she really, that's where Bonnie came hitting. Cause if you come at me from the side of your neck, honey, we're meeting at the corner of, you know? <laughs> Kulonya Gage is telling a story that rocked the social media networks. I'm talking about that Insta video of Babes Wotum. The abuse claims date back all the way to May 2018, and even the Minister of Arts and Culture, Natim Tetwa, told Babes to press charges. That was a lesson of Nia Papa. Kupapa <laughs> Banitina oh, as a yes. public oh, in South Africa. Yeah. Yes, I feel like. <laughs> Mind your own. Do you understand? Prior to that video, there was an interview. I mean, yeah. And in yes. that interview, they said to her, babe, here's a life um, boat. Yes. Yeah. Jump on. She was like, nah, thank you. Mm. Mm. Mario, when I should we have not intervened on Babes' behalf? No, it's hard not to intervene, like... Like you said, it's a hard time for the country right now. It's very trialing. Like, you can't just stand back and not say anything. But in her case, it makes it hard. Like, the next time she's going to come up and say that, no, Upe, Ulo, Tzomampinja did this. Who's going to take it seriously? We're going to think it's another stunt. When it comes to abusive relationships, right, if it was easy to leave, everybody would just leave immediately. Right. The people don't come and present themselves as monsters. Mm. They first get you to fall in love, and you keep... Like holding on to the memory of that person and like, no, they can change, but, or when it's really good, like it's really good, you know? Yeah. And um, that's difficult to leave. Just a disclaimer, Babes Otomo, if you're watching this and you're recording this and you are uh, tuning us at this point in time, we do not believe that you are actually hacked. So, uh, what do we say about that? Is it Babes? I think she's undoing herself, <sighs> yeah. You yeah. think it's Babes? Because if you don't have the thing that you think gives you power, then you become power. Yeah. So babes is the symbol of power for the other dude. It's just sometimes a bit convenient. Who do you think is out. tweeting? Mampij, huh? Uh, there was a time could, when he was tweeting. It could tweeting. be Mampij, or it could be both of them, though. Because uh -huh. the way things come out, like, I think after the story, Something came out immediately after that story, like of the video. Something came out immediately saying that no, they're all good and stuff from her account. <laughs> now we've got some fires to stoke, a ton more stories to reminisce on, but for now it's time to tweet and be merry. Coming up, we continue mining the mayhem with the scandals of 2019. Masuzi round two gemetunana of the rumor rollback of 2019 right here on the home of celebrities, the real Koboza. Samar. Here we go with more from the year that was. Our legal systems continue to show how unprivate your affairs can be when mm. Anthem Bailim Lodge was restraining order against DJ Black Coffee's sister, made it onto the Sunday world and thus announced the end of one of the Gollywoods, actually not even a Gollywoods, the world's great celebrity marriages. In a powerful Instagram video, she asked for respect and distance so her children could be spared. As much as we think people care about our lives, people really don't care about our lives. So had you said nothing, there wouldn't be nothing to talk about. I mean, we'd have had allegations mm. that they're divorcing or whatever, mm. and it would have stayed as an allegation, allegation until otherwise. But the moment we went flawless, I was just like, wake up. Hey, boss up. <laughs> hey, you know? I was like, what nah. What does take away? Babe. Uh, tell me so. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she wanted to ask people to give them space. And, of course, it happened because she trended for like two days straight. 
So, <laughs> she got the space. She got the space. <laughs> you see, endless pictures. Mm. Dope, every day, fire. She's, and then she does the video, she looks horrible. Mm -hmm. Now this will look like, oh, she looked dope because she was with Black Coffee. Mm. Now she looks terrible because he's God. Mm. Mario, do you think Kathy Guetta is a bologna in the sandwich? <laughs> the first time this came around, there's a statement that she released on Instagram saying that Kathy Guetta has always been there, their best buddies and whatnot. Guys, Some this type. is Black Coffee. I would honestly, like discussing if there is one girl. <laughs> That's the one we know of. How many, how many do on. we think? How many do you think? Have you been to Ibiza? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Look, this year sadly also marked the return of xenophobic violence. Artists across the African continent raised their voices. Burner Boy added he'd never visit South Africa again and told AKA to beef up his security and giving him the middle finger. All eyes were on AKA who said he'd like to see Burner Boy act on his threats because as soon as he pulls up, it's on sight. <laughs> so, the tea. Mm. If, you, if you remember when Levels was released, AKA needed to infiltrate West Africa. Yeah. Burner Boy needed to infiltrate South, South Africa. Africa. So they collapsed. But now AKA has this thing of leeching onto different people to get something that he wants. What do you reckon we as a continent need to do in order to actually get along with each other. It starts with self, guys. It always starts with self, you know? And it's gonna take a very long time. Mm. It's obviously just a change in thought, a change in mindset, a change in just knowing that, like, guys, we can't be from the same continent. How are we hating each other? Guys, <laughs> fake news there. We've had a lot of that in the year, including Trump ne Ruma Yosweleka Kuka Sofindaba. Bantu, I don't know what it is about South Africans yeah. because this rumor has made the rounds before. Yeah. Sophie called everybody out and told us, why didn't you bother to fact check before you believe a story? For someone to create such a rumor is, is, is beyond me because apart from Sophie Ndaba being an actress and whatever, she's a mother, she's mm. a wife, you know? She's responsible for something. How are you gonna take that how are you gonna put people into that emotion without reason? When someone comes out and says, guys, I have diabetes, it's not a laughing matter. So you can't therefore say, come at me for my weight loss when I have no control over it. Anybody who loses weight in South Africa, we pretend we are concerned. Oh, man, Benja, you've lost weight. We pretend I, I we are, are concerned. People, we're, not, were people really concerned when Benja lost weight though? They pretend. Were they really? I, I have people were just like, cho, cho. My favorite story of the entire year, the Ferguson films headed by Shauna and Connie Ferguson, when they came under a massive attack and fire, when Usus Vadis Wandaka actually spoke out about some of the conditions that she's had to work under. I, I think specifically one of the, the, the Lendokas, Ebeke Watadangaza, was about how Bekfuneka Kweliteksi and Abandu Bem Jongile as Losis Ilona, who's supposed to be yeah. on this level, but because La Paga was not tenga immodo. And for me, that actually, you know, it hits home because I'm just like, there was a period where Nan Kombi takes in the Quella Nabando as per normal. And you stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> <laughs> a rocks. Would it be different if she like completely trashed them and was impolite and didn't give solutions? Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I think she went about it the right way. And if they're taking offense, like, grow a pair. Maskas Pumia Gunda is heavy. Give me something light, Samora. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to see how our celebrities plan on seeing in the new year at Classic City. Hippie! We're talking about 2019, we're about the end of 2019. Right. How are you spending your New Year's Eve? I actually don't know just as yet, yeah. but right now it's looking a lot more like Afropunk, unless anyone wants to book me to be their MC. Yeah. This New Year's, I'm going to be on stage. Okay. Oh. It's Goldfish and Good Luck on the same stage nice. at the same event, Ooh. and guess who's playing with them? Give me Give me Friends or family in New Year's Eve? 
I think friends, to be honest. I think up until just after Christmas, it's very much family, 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 and then, and then it's friends, friends, friends. I think at our age, uh, the friends that you keep, you call them family too because they are. So there's no time for manga, manga. Give me three words that perfectly describe your 2019. Fantastic, uh -huh. magnificent, yeah. beautiful. Ooh. Next level magic. Yes. Purpose. Yeah. Spectacular. Yeah. Personal. What? Fun and vivacious. Prosperous. Yeah. Amazing yeah. and lovely. Any regrets about 2019? Anything you want to leave behind? I hope um, men can actually respect women more. I hope we don't have to like uh, hashtag someone is missing. I hope that we leave that in 2019. No, not at all. Every single thing that's happened in my life has been for the greater benefit of yeah. making me a better version of myself. Conflict, drama, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, in order to grow and to evolve, every year we do leave things behind, whether we are conscious or unconscious about it. It's, yeah, you know, I regret to go to Angela Ngaulerato Khanyako, you know? I should have. You know, yeah. I should have struck while the iron was hot. Yeah. Do you believe in New Year's resolutions? Have you ever stuck to some? I believe in them as in I think they're a good idea, but personally for me, <laughs> I haven't really stuck to any. Yeah. New Year's what now? <laughs> I've never stuck to one. I always have a plan and a vision. Yeah. So no matter how long it takes, I stick to it and I accomplish it. That's it. Yeah. If you're constantly growing and changing, you're going to always have a resolution of some sort. What's waiting for you in 2020? My company is waiting yeah. for me in 2020. <laughs> a feature film that I'm producing, Courting Anati, will be in cinemas 2020. So I hope that every South African will get a chance to see it. For me, my dream is to say 2020 and then 20 million tickets sold. If we can get that, I think it's possible. If Leon Schuster can do it, being in a, uh, inappropriate, we can do it telling good stories. Dream big, Gesiswami. Let's hope that all our dreams will come true in 2020. Well, weather and legalities permitting, of course. With the steam still rising off this segment, we're going to take a quick commercial break. After the break, we round off our collection of crazy memories of 2019 and look forward to all the fire that 2020 may bring. You are just in time for the final serving of the hot gossip goodness of this year's last episode of The Real Koboza before City 2020. Mm. So, Sasheleke with our favorites here on RGB Crazy K, Tabi Somshongos, Kipani's very own Mario, and our very own Rox. So, let's fire up the grill and set things to smoking hot. Skylang Ofet Jono Zoro Abantu, who felt the rage of a very woke nation with their homophobic comments. Ozot wa geo kale ye na on her now dead and dusted uh, TV show, a city asilama gay, because they fight with women. Name one gay who has never fought with a woman in the industry. In la giabo, maktaba nguti bane, he he, while they have a... Uh, Ha ha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We are to get born as Abafazi, Gabo Abane, he he. Hey, whoa. I hope you guys are following. Are you guys keeping up yeah. with the story? Wait, wait, okay, yeah. you get it. Ha ha. Okay. He he. Ne ha ha. Ufeto chimed in on Radio 2000 saying, I don't understand why they, being the gays, can't accept that it's difficult for most people to accept their lifestyle. I'm not surprised that someone of her caliber would say something like that. Um, for me, having had a relationship with, with, with Fred Cho, you know, him coming to the show, whatever, yes. I've never experienced an ounce of homophobia from Fred Cho. This is the same guy who kissed Somizi on this year's show. Mm. a tendency of straight men using the LGBTQIA plus community mm -hmm. as Opo Pai mm -hmm. for either in Tekisa or to make a spectacle of some sort. I mean, yes. so now Straight when women we, call them handbags. Exactly. That now when you we look at that, mm -hmm. where you are now coming and saying that actually no, Ucho actually kissed Usomizi on the show right here. I don't know, man. Maybe when he, maybe because he, he thinks it's disgusting mm -hmm. when they he, hit he, on. Ha -ha. Yeah, when they hit on him. Maybe that day he had one person who was disgusting to him. It's mm. wrong to brand everyone like that. Mm. 
the gays are disgusting. That's it's a homophobic. The I gay think... situation is very sensitive, yes. you know, because they're still trying to be accepted in a very... No, you see, that's my thing. People need to stop trying to be accepted by people. Accept yourself, live your life, continue. Yeah. Now, actress and TV presenter Kanye Mgangisa's drunk driving antics were all over the news. Kulonyaga. I'm a camera, I'm shooting! Look, the hit and run thing was stupid because it happened in the complex. In the complex, yeah. I mean, if I hit your car in the complex, can you not find me? All right, so, uh, Rox? It's embarrassing. With South Africa experiencing so many deaths and accidents due to, you know, drunken driving and the like, do you think there's an added pressure for public figures to behave in a responsible way? Yeah, our kids are looking up to you. You're supposed to be, like, setting out a good image. You no, know? your kids uh -huh. should be looking up to their parents. No, like, everyone wants to be an Instagram model these days. No, 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 no. no. Charity Some starts at like, home. We, we Why are Instagram. you saying um, Crazy K is your role model? You don't know me? Because we well, two totally different versions of the DJ KG slash Musiswa abuse story emerged. Well, KG said he caught her in bed with another man. I'm not going to comment about that. I'm commenting about the guy who was caught in the middle of it. Stirring. Yeah, and how, when you look at his pictures, <laughs> he is hot. Snazo, I can say, oh boy. Yeah. I can say. I saw but that And then video. in the video, everyone's like, who are you? But you got Musiswa, so. Did he? Oh. You can't so look at every day. Yeah, staring mm. figure me you can't look what? You can't look a hundred every day. Do you want a bet? Oh, yeah. Challenge accepted. Hello, come on. Who does have a dot? You think it's still a time to think about <laughs> should I mention him? I guess she is sad. Who saw them she is at that time? That guy was all in his fields. He had to. Mm. I was like, someone needs to see this. Finally, we have U Anelem Dota, who oh! learned the hard way <laughs> that local South African black Twitter won't just come to your defense and say when you tweet this way. <laughs> she said, Ukeli Roland Agam Sanga without makeup. Black Twitter laid into her some palela obasasi. See the error of your ways. The moral of the story here for Anele is people who live in glass houses should not throw stones. Ooh. We're still waiting for the receipts. Mm. If you're fetching me, like, your ish better be intact. Intact, babe. That you, cause like, if I find one flaw, I'm coming for it. Tell me, so I have very one very clear question for you. If you had to, for your own personal preference, to take home to your mother, who would you choose? Oh. Between who? Between Kelly and Anele. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing yeah. wrong with Anneli. I don't even know Kelly Rowland. But I can tell you now, there would be a dilemma in my grandmother's <laughs> living. <laughs> all right, now we're going to tune some of the stories that set the internet on fire and had us all taking, uh, you know, e e is a high high and coming down <laughs> during the year. Right now, it's time to get moving. There are parties to plan and more to attend. Thank you so much for joining us for the last episode of 2019. Thank you very much for joining us throughout the year and keeping the conversation going. We're going to be rolling into the new year uh, on our social media pages. Uh, Facebook is official Roko Poza and on Twitter and Instagram official RGB. Don't forget to use that hashtag real Koboza. And for the personal touch, you can slide, slide, slide. In, in the, the DMs. DMs. Hey, open Mrs. Buns. Come she here. Who's on more? Is that some underscore Mangesi? I'm at Sinaza. Y'all are rocks. Is that rocks, paper, scissors? Mwah. Good night, Tini. Sanbana in the new year. Bye-bye. Happy.